Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, showing with Stevenson Head Football Coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, you closed out the regular season on Saturday. You played like home and here at home and a hard-fought 20-14 victory. Got one of the close ones to fall your way. Talk a little bit about the game. It was nice. Uh, the you know, defense stepped up big late. Um, I think at the end of the game, they ended up with eight shots inside of the 20-yard line after the after the pass interference there in the corner on fourth down. So it was nice to, to go out and, and, and really look at a very young defense and the, how they've matured through the year and were able to close the game out for us. It was it was very nice to see. Yeah, obviously a game where the offense, you had to grind a little bit against the Lycoming mm-hmm. defense. And it was the defense, like you said, that stepped up, especially on that last. You know, it looked like you had them beat on fourth and – I think it was fourth and 15 or something from the 23, but they called a pass interference in the end zone, gave them four fresh downs, and you were still able to hold. It was nice. You know, the offense got the yards when we needed to get them. It was kind of an odd day where we were able to move the ball but just couldn't quite get the ball in the end zone. So, um, you, you know, you're going to have games like that. And I think special teams stepped up in a big way. Uh, Wade had some big punts to flip the field for us, and we were able to kind of control field position and really force them to drive the long field all day long. And, you know, as you look at how the game evolved, they had 12 yards of offense in the first half, you yeah. know, running only 18 plays. So they did a nice job adjusting. We, you know, we did a nice job adjusting and you know like you said it was nice to come out on the on the right side of a close football game for a change yeah it was I think 14 to 7 at halftime and really what extended it was uh, Ian Gould had a pair of field goals that later were huge as they scored you know on a long touchdown drive so taking the points when you had the chance and you know having Ian in his sure foot really helped in that third quarter to get that 27 lead. Absolutely, you know, Ian's Ian's a special player. Um, to be able to do what he's been able to do this year as, as a freshman is, is quite outstanding. And I think a couple of the hidden plays in that game are, you know, we blocked the field goal. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I, I'm not sure if we blocked it or he missed it, you know, later on in the fourth quarter. Yeah. You know, that was a big play because if, if they make one of those two, then they're kicking to tie it there in the in the fourth quarter instead of having to go for the touchdown. So, you know, there was lots of opportunities, you know, you know, during the course of the game that one or two plays goes the other way and we may be talking about a different outcome. Yeah. So so that um so that win puts you to six and four overall and you get the chance to play one more week of football. Um you guys have, on Monday found out you're selected for the ECAC Bowl and you're going to face Alfred on Sunday. Um, just talk about, we've talked a little bit about it, but the chance to play that 11th game and to be in the postseason for the fourth straight year. It, it's exciting for the program. It's exciting for our seniors, you know, to have an opportunity to, 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 to play one more time um, in a venue at the University of Delaware, which I, I anticipate is going to be a pretty special environment. And the week of practice is so very, very important. You know, you, you look at the Mount Unions and the, and the St. Thomases and those top five caliber teams, and you look at how many extra practice opportunities they have every year. And for us to continually have these opportunities as well is exciting. And, and hopefully it's something that we can build on and, and start to garner some momentum moving into the offseason. Now you play Alfred, a team obviously you've never played before. How do you prepare for an opponent that obviously your conference opponents obviously prepare every week, mm-hmm. but you kind of know for the most part, you, you know, they have similar similarities from year to year in personnel and schemes and things like that. Obviously, this is a team that you don't know as much about. How do you go about preparing for a team? It's an exciting challenge. It's it's it is very very different. You don't know anything about them, and when we exchange film, we only exchange the previous three games. So that's your snapshot of them, yeah. and um, you do as much homework as you absolutely can, and and try to learn as much about it, who they are as absolutely possible. You know, any trying to seek out any small thing that can can get you an advantage, and you know you go into these games, and you know you you. you you have to rely on again, and I think I said this post game Saturday. You, you've got to go out and really rely on what you did in camp, your fundamentals, mm-hmm. um, making sure that that you're doing the fundamental things right in in a big spot late in the year. And you know, for us, again, the extra week is is huge. Yeah, and certainly in, in a situation like you said, where you don't know as much about your opponent, to worry about what you do well and to capitalize on that. Absolutely, it's it's it's, and we try to operate like this. is It's a very inward focused perspective on how can we be the best football team that we can be on Saturday after Saturday, and in this case, on Sunday. So you know, we we control the things that we can control and go out and and do the best we can to get a W. All right, well, great. Thanks a lot, Coach. Um, we'll see you up there on Sunday. Best of luck um, for Coach Ed Hoddle. I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.